In this video, we're going to show how to select items randomly from a list. So we have a list of people here and we have some prizes as well. And we're going to award these people the prizes randomly. So this is what we're going to do. And we're going to show a formula that works in all versions of Excel and another formula that is a dynamic array formula that is much easier that works in Excel 365 or Excel 2021. And I'll be dividing the video into chapters or sections so that you can jump to the solution that you would like. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's start with the solution that works on all Excel versions. So we're going to start by assigning a random number using the rand function, which outputs a random number between zero and one to all our prizes here. So these are the items that we're gonna select randomly from the list here. So now all our prizes have different random numbers here that have been assigned using the rand function. We're going to fix these numbers so as to basically choose this sorting because these numbers are gonna help us sort the prizes in a certain way in a random order that will be assigned to these people. So we need to fix these numbers to make them values instead of a formula because if we press F9 or do any change on our worksheet, you will see here that the formula updates with a new random number. So we need to fix them. I'll just copy and then paste values like this just to fix the numbers. And then we're going to assign numbers from one to the end of the count of the prizes here. So fill series from one to 10. There is another workaround for that, which we're gonna show as well. And then here, we're gonna write a formula. We're going to index the list of prizes here. And for the row number argument, we're going to use a match function. And inside the match function, we're going to put a small function here. And then this is going to be the array for the small function. And we're going to absolute that. And then the K, so the small function, it will give you the first smallest or second smallest or third smallest, dep depending on the K that you provide to it, number from a list. So if we provide one, it will give us the first smallest, which is basically the smallest number in a list. If you provide two, then it will give us the second smallest number in the list and so on and so forth. So the K here is basically gonna be this number here that we've written beside the prize here. So this way we're gonna get the smallest number in the list, but then when we drag the formula down, the formula is gonna point to the second smallest and then the third smallest and so on. And then our lookup array where we're going to look up the first smallest number is basically this array here and then the match type is going to be an exact match and we're going to close the brackets here for the match function and then for the column number we can just ignore it or put a one because one will be the default value because we're actually doing a search across the rows and it's only one column that we have here in the array for the index function. So we don't need to input the column number argument. We're gonna close the brackets, press enter. And as you can see here, now we get a random prize assigned to each name. So what happens in this formula, basically, as you can see here, the small function will basically yield the first smallest or second smallest or third smallest number in the list. So if you actually solve the small function here, Using F9 on our keyboard, you will see here that it yields 0 0.0968, which is this number here. So this number 0 0.0968 is the smallest number in our list. So it will simply yield that number. This is why a weekend getaway to a five-star resort was the first gift here that appeared randomly in the list. And then the $100 gift card is gonna be the second smallest number here. So the number in front of it, which is 0.2 this is the second smallest number in our list and so on and so forth so this is the all version solution in excel there is a bit of an improvement that you can do to this solution which is instead of doing the k here depending on this number that you've written in the cell you can use the rows function to just do a count 
So with the rows function, I'm going to give it the whole row of row number four, but then I can actually absolute the first part of the row function and leave the second part relative. And then I need to close the bracket for the rows function here. So this way, when I press enter and drag the formula down, basically the rows function will act as an enumerator or will just do a count one, two, three, four, five, etc. Because when we drag the formula down, the range inside the rows function is going to expand. So on the first row, it was row number four to row number four. And this is one row, but then it's row number four to row number five. So this is two rows and so on, because the rows function, what it does is that it counts the number of rows in a range that you have. So you can use it as a counter basically this way. So this is the old version solution. Now let's see the Excel 365 solution. All right, guys, so now we're going to show the Excel 365 solution. So it also involves assigning random numbers to the prizes here using the rand function. You could also use the rand array function. So they will both yield the same result. And I'm going to copy and paste values for the random numbers. And then we're going to use the sort by function here. And the sort by will basically involve sorting our prizes here. So this is going to be our array that we're going to sort and we're going to sort it by this array of random numbers here. We could also put a sort order. It's by default going to be in ascending order, but you don't need to put that. And we're going to close the brackets and press enter. And as you can see here, also the people get awarded the prizes randomly. As you can see here, the Excel 365 solution is much easier and much quicker. And this is the beauty of dynamic arrays in Excel. So that's it guys for our video today. If you watched to this point, thank you so much for watching and please make sure to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with all future content. And please follow us on social media. You'll find all the links down below in the description. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next video.